Oh well, good day everybody. So uh, another technical uh, rundown on a very interesting boat. So uh, this is an OE32 from uh, up in the Baltic states. Uh, I think it's Scandinavian. In fact, I think it might even be, is it Finland or Norway? I'm not sure where the production happened, but they've been a very popular boat up there. This is, uh, before I get into it, this is a boring alert, boring alert. This is a technical rundown of a boat uh, that did the 2018 GGR. Uh, and uh, it was sailed by R. Vig. Uh, it's an OE32, as I said. Not a big boat, it's quite small, but it's got a great sail area displacement ratio and uh, it performed extremely well with RV. And uh, it's, it's a, a nice cruising boat, you know, there's a lot of them were built in, in the many hundreds and hundreds. And uh, anyway, and then, of course, Are he was dismastered uh, off Cape Town very early in the race and uh, unfortunately couldn't continue, sailed it back under jury rig to Cape Town and then uh, it was, was basically an insurance write-off and uh, local bought it, uh, refitted it a bit, got it sailing and then uh, when Jeremy decided to do the GGR, it was a natural selection process because it was already in Cape Town and uh, the price was pretty right, so he bought it uh, completely... Uh, uh, checked everything, rebuilt certain parts and has got it ready now, beautifully prepared, ready for the 22 edition of the GGR. So on the back of the boat he's got a wind pilot wind vane, uh, you know, and quite a few were used in 2018, so it's a servo pendulum system, quite a, quite a reasonable gear, steers the boat very easily. It steers the boat using its own ship's rudder through a series of lines, so again the servo pendulum rudder is actually in the air at the moment, it pivots right around, it'll go in the water, and the flip-flop vane fits in the very top sort of uh, pivot point there, it's not in at the moment. So again it's uh, wind, uh, wind uh, activated and water powered and it pulls a series of ropes that go through to the tiller and then it actually moves the, the, the boat's main rudder to steer the boat. Quite fast reacting, quite powerful, and because the rudder's right at the back of the boat, you know, it uh, you know, still operates really well. So uh, that's the process there. You can see straight away um, uh, the main sheet system on the back of the boom. It's got two independent uh, block and tackle systems, so you could use both to stabilise the, 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 the boom rather, while he's sailing, or you could use one, you know, and just run it down to leeward or whatever, whatever works. It's very various things there that, that they can do. Great dodger, it's a soft dodger again that could be folded down but I've got to say it's quite a solid sort of stainless steel structure there, plenty of handholds uh, to get around and that big big knuckle one up the top here, you use that a lot, I've got something similar on my little mini and when you're getting in and out of the cockpit you just want to grab something solid so that works really well, lots of visibility uh, and it can be taken off in big storms so uh, you can look after it later and you see the handrails going all the way down. Now again, uh, uh, this has got a few lines going back to the cockpit, but not a lot. They're still using uh, halyards at the mast here. Possibly using all the head sails and spinnaker halyards are probably at the mast because you've got to be there anyway, and that's a very sensible solution. Uh, you know, it looks like there's a couple, possibly the main halyards, going back to the cockpit to do a couple of reefs or something and not have to come up all the time. Uh, you'll see again uh, two spinnaker poles and a little jockey pole as well. There's a little short pole there, okay, and that can be used. Well, it's not actually a jockey pole, it's a running pole. It's a lot shorter, uh, and you'll see on the side of the mast here, there's a track just above the winch there. That'll be for that, that pole as well, I reckon. Um, so he's got the usual rope clutches there as well. It's a very strong um, twin spreader rig, and Jeremy used to be a rigger as well. He's sort of retired now, sold the business. Solid Vang again, which is interesting if you listen to my discussion on on um, Simon Kerwin's Biscay 36. Uh, it's, it's probably okay because the boom is a lot higher than Tapio's, but uh, uh, it does have some sailing advantages. One thing I will say is that Jeremy's got some amazing sails. I've seen some pictures of him uh, and he's, he's really paid a lot of attention to the sails. They're north sails, uh, but they've just got beautiful cut, uh, you know, tri-radial, they're very slick. So he's allowed to have a little bowsprit on this boat. The rules are that you, uh, you, you can't just put a bowsprit on. If it has a bowsprit on it as a production boat, then you're allowed to do it. If it was never there from the original design, you can't actually do it. So um, he's allowed to under this rule, and that's a big plus for lots of reasons. You can run your 
asymmetric spinnakers out in clean air and uh, you can put hanked on sails there so Jeremy could put even st like a little storm sail right up the front to keep the bow falling down in heavy weather in the southern ocean uh, rather than put it right back on the inner forestay. So he's got that single wire there and uh, then he's got a, a reefing gear, full reefing gear and then coming in from that he's got the normal inner forestay with jibs and uh, also put storm jibs down there as well. You know if you want to go to windward in heavy weather you use a storm jib and, and keep the balance of the boat right but if you're running off against 60, 70, 80 knots in big seas you want a little sail right up the front so that if the bow starts to round up in a brooch the wind hits it and pushes it back down again so uh, quite a flexible rig and only having one furling gear there it saves a lot of weight so it keeps the power in the boat to give you speed in the Atlantic legs and stuff like that so it's a pretty interesting combination he's got a rather than a soft uh, for all the rope tails he's got a, a solid rail there in a bag so it, it's easy to stack them in and not have them dragging around which is quite efficient so uh, that's pretty cool uh, an interesting one here you can obviously see the the uh, tagline that webbing strap there that's going all along that's for safety harness so so uh, Jeremy can clip on and go forward uh, you'd usually go down the windward side so you're not going to fall off to windward uh, because if you do fall over the side on one of these boats you've got a major problem trying to get back on board so you don't want to be thrown in a, put in a position where you're going to get thrown and end up in the water otherwise I've got to tell you, you you've got a major problem so uh, touch wood that's uh, all history anyway the boats uh, Jeremy sailed the boat uh, all the way from uh, Cape Town up to uh, England first had some engine troubles sorted all that out uh, got here did the prologue uh, and it's all looking pretty good in the cockpit you'll see the winches here are substantially bigger for instance than Simon on, on uh, when we we're talking about his Biscay 36 so they're probably the normal size okay Simon's got smaller ones which are probably the cruising boat size um, and uh, that's saving a bit of weight as well anyway the boats prepared really well I'm gonna jump on board and uh, see if Simon's here and in fact I know he is I said keep working and I'll come and grab you later before I go down below I'll just you see his life raft he's got his life raft in the cockpit strapped to the side and it looks like that's going to be its permanent position usual deal knife on the tiller um, he hasn't got the uh, all the other cockpit safety gear that'll come out later uh, walkers towing log again uh, all pretty straightforward he's got a man overboard ladder somewhere there um, a, a what and see hydro generator there that's that propeller that'll pivot down um, and that looks like that big donut there that one sticking there that looks like a external iridium phone for the satellite phone when he's calling race control that's a life sling there like a rescue sling for man overboard situation man overboard recovery and it asks the question oh, here we go he's single-handed who's he going to rescue well you just don't know what might happen he might have to go and assist another boat someone could be in the water they've got to you know sort of get them on board so they bring that out so for now the rules are that you've got to start with all this stuff and then when you're at sea in the southern ocean you take it down interestingly some of the sailors carried it all the way around the world because I saw them like five months later and uh, it was still sitting on the rail getting beat up but there you go oh the man's here <laughs> g'day Jerry how's it going can I come in down below uh, you, hang on you had a clean up <laughs> I've got my shoes on is that okay yeah that's fine yeah cool thanks mate okay this is the first time I've been on board since Ari had it at the start so uh, wow it's looking very clean and tidy eh this sheep is yeah are you loaded you you got your you get? I've got 95% of my food stuff I just need to do a, a shop for some fresh goods yeah. and then I'm done it's amazing, eh? The contrast is some entrance. You know, I haven't filmed this yet, but I know, you know, when you go on to some other boats, there's stuff everywhere. We've, I, I, I'm very, very anti-clutter. Uh, clutter just freaks my brain out, so everything has to be perfectly neat, otherwise yeah. I can't think. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't brag about it because it's just me, but I'm, I was a bit the same. I like saying a tidy boat. Yeah. But geez, it looks pretty cool. Beautiful cruising boat. Hang on, I'll get back here. Look at this. It's not a cruising boat. No, it's a, no, 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 no. It's a cruising <laughs> boat. This is a production boat. Look at that. Look at the galley. It's fantastic. That's one of the beauties of the GGR. You can get into a boat and it's still a nice boat. You know, it's not a stripped out race boat. So you're looking really good, Jeremy. Wow. Um, walk us through the chart table. I can see the HF there. A HF. Yeah. Was that a new um, one, second hand one? No, it was given to me by a friend who, yeah. who used it on his cruising boat. Yeah. Um, but was uh, not really, with the advent of Iridium and Iridium Go yeah. and all that sort of yeah, thing, yeah. wasn't using this at all, but it found yeah. a home here. That's all right. The VHF is behind that that perspex yeah. uh, yeah, sheet yeah. there. Yeah. 
the AIS um, yeah. is just above that. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I can see it down the back and there. It might be hard to see here, but where the fax is, is oh, yeah, in, tucked in that into box the back. Over there. Yep. Did you buy it or you got it given to you? Um, or? eBay. eBay. How much for? <laughs> Hundred dollars, hundred bucks. I yeah. paid hundred and fifty for one. Never, of mine, never been that's... used before. It never been used. <laughs> never been used. Yeah. Fantastic. So yeah. you've got it up and running. Yeah, it's all up and running. Um, yeah. Needs to be stress tested out at sea. Um, yeah. I didn't have the correct antenna on the trip up from Cape Town, yeah. but now that's been rectified. We're picking up slightly wobbly pictures here in the marina, but there's a lot of interference. So yeah, I yeah. think when I get out, it'll it'll sharpen yeah. up a lot yeah. that's cool okay so yeah i can see your gmdss radio there vhf and bits which yeah. which which is your favorite bunk um this this is the dry hang bunk on. hang uh, on i've got to g wait till the gimbal catches okay. up here Capture, catching up gimbal ba boom yep I, I try to keep this side dry yeah um this side will always get wetter because of the sails that yeah. need to be dragged through for spinnakers that need to be packed yeah okay so that side stays dry yeah this is the the kind of the drying net uh, yeah. does everything except play tennis. Yeah, and yeah, um, yeah that that is the favourite. But if yeah. I if I find that rather than try and hang in there, and if I'm beating, I, I will take the lured bunk yeah, and yeah. just stay dry. You got a big pally case for all your bits and pieces. Yeah, eh? that's all the the communication stuff. Yeah. Um, that that's all. This is the non sealed box that yeah. we that we keep so we can keep the stuff charged um, yeah. from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. Okay, we got a bit of reading there. Got a bit of reading <laughs> stuff. Yep. Yeah, you got so a paragraph. Got the that, bar what's the story with the paragraph? You buy it or second hand or it's, given to you? It's or? on loan yeah, and on loan, uh, loan yeah. from a friend. Um, as is the the trailing the walker log on the yeah. back of the boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's uh, very generously lent it to me, and I think regretting it now because he's just building a beautiful, beautiful cruising boat. <laughs> so definitely has to get around and get back to him. He wants the history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And up forward, pretty straightforward. You yeah, just, very straightforward. Yeah, yeah. So the what was a, a V berth up front um, is was chopped in into a very yeah. much smaller cabin. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the with the watertight bulkheads and things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's now exclusively yeah. sail stowage. Yeah. Yeah, typical All head the light compartment. Stuff. Yep. Yeah, you got a you got a dunny instead of a bucket. Yep, I'm with you. You don't have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I had a bucket yeah. on my mini, but yeah. Yeah, this sort of boat around yeah. the world, oh, yeah. luxury. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And what's your favourite thing on the boat? Like, um, what, what's your favourite thing? I've got two things. One is way up there. I'm not going to try and dig it out, but the other one is just here. I can show yeah. you. It's a yeah. little companionway seat, and yeah. it's probably where I'll spend a huge amount of my time. Oh, that's cool. It's just, um, it, it slots in, in there. I can't put it down because there's stuff underneath yeah, yeah. it. And yeah. and it just makes a really comfortable spot to sit. Yeah, I can I can look through the, I can look up at the sails. I can look out through the front. I can look yeah. out at the back. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's a recent innovation. You had that for on the way up? Yeah, yeah, yeah I had it. Yeah. Worked well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're ready to go? You're pretty happy? I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. How much water do you carry? I've got um, 130 litres each side and 102 in the keel tank. Yeah. And yeah, a 25 litre emergency in, so in the back. So about 250 litres? Uh, a little more, yeah. Yeah, just that's cool. So uh, you absolutely have to catch water. I do. Yeah, uh, there's yeah, no yeah. doubt about that. That's cool, yeah. Um, what's with the carpet? I like the carpet. That's have you got your slippers? Uh, there's my Crocs. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And Very cool. The, the rug is from my previous boat. Um, yeah. It was a big solid steel totally watertight cruising boat but it, <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to put your bare feet on and um, absolutely yeah. yeah you can dry it out you have a heater yeah. no I don't heater? no yeah yeah, yeah. No. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. I'm going to look at the galley here now. We do a check of the oh, 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 I've trapped the oh, I've trapped the cables here sorry I think I'm still okay yes that's okay I think yes so uh, there's Jane Jane there I'm gonna come down just check out the sink the kitchen sink of uh, solo sailors uh, oh you're pretty organized yeah so that's cool so you're using a bowl and just chuck it inside there yeah um, it can run overboard yeah but it doesn't have to I can wash up in the in the cockpit yeah. if I yeah, want yeah. to yeah that's cool rinse it all out yeah very good oh they're nice cups where'd you get them from <laughs> cheap as you're not vain. Yeah, they're all like was, you on them someone was trying to give them away <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're the, the GGR cups and yeah. we gave every yeah. entrant 35. Yeah. yeah. So I've anyway, been trying to give them away, no one wants it. Oh, cut it out, you're a hero. <laughs> Jeez. <Yeah. laughs> That's cool. And you've got a you've got a, a gas stove. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With a little oven. Yeah, a little oven. Yeah. Um, That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I won't use the oven too much. I don't carry a hell of a lot of gas with me. I've only yeah. got 13 kilograms. Yeah. Um, okay. 
Yeah, that's cool. That I, I, I only boil the kettle once a day and then it yep. refill the fill Stanley. The, Jeez, they've been going since I was a kid. Yep, Stanley Thermos. They're one of the best. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well that's it. The beauty of small boats, not what to say. So you've got uh, salt water foot pump there, salt fresh water pump. Fresh, yeah, and yeah. fresh in the heads, and that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah that's cool. No electric yeah. pumps, no. Yeah. Nothing to go wrong. Yeah, that's cool. What are you going to do the boat when it, when the race is over? Uh, she'll be up for sale. Up for sale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, someone will be interested, I'm sure. <laughs> it depends on how I do, doesn't it? <laughs> no, you'll cream it in, you know. Yeah. It's all about being there at the finish, so yeah. that's cool. Yeah, very good. All right, well, thanks, Jeremy. That's really cool. I really like this boat. Um, have you had much contact with Ari at all? In the um, very little, yeah. and I've just respected his need to yeah. get closure on the yep. on the last event, and yeah. so he was very. He had a lot of very good advice right up front, and then yep. we haven't really chatted much yeah, since. Yeah, cool. Then. Okay. All right, good luck, thanks. I'm gonna try and press these buttons now. I gotta press this one here. Oh, hello, it's me here. <laughs> okay, okay, goodbye. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>